you can get a golden crate in five hours. Yes, that's right, just five hours for a 50,000 coin golden crate. This might seem like hyperbole because it kind of is. This is a solo fallen speedrun where I beat it in only 11 minutes. With a time skill ticket on 2x speed, that becomes only 5 minutes and 40 seconds to get 1,000 coins. That is 10,000 coins per hour. But don't leave just yet, I have some actually easy coin grind strategies where you can get over 3,000 coins per hour while asleep in AFK, and it's not some stupidly inconsistent macro that always breaks, and that 3,000 coins per hour factors in the stupidly long restart time, unlike other videos. Even I personally use this to grind coins, because I've not actually maxed out my skill tree yet, but we'll get to that later. Let's look at this solo font speeder I did a week ago with this strange looking loadout. I have no actual DPS towers, only mercenary base, brawler, rock tier, and supports. I have almost max skills unlocked, but you're still able to get a 12 minute time without any skills at all, only a minute slower. This speedrun is on the recently reworked Simplicity map, which has this insane U bend at the start, and very good places to stack mercenary base units. Obviously, I just used Brawler for early game, getting a level 0 Brawler on wave 1, upgrading it to level 1 the next wave, and getting 2 more level 0 Brawlers on waves 4 and 5. On wave 6, I stop farming, preparing for the 250 HP Fallen Squire. I get 6 Brawlers, upgrading all of them to level 1. Wave 8 and wave 9 are no challenge, so just keep farming until wave 10, where I upgrade 3 Brawlers to level 2, and get a level 0 commander just to help out. On wave 11, I'm able to sneakily max a farm before returning to defend. From wave 12 to 15, I'm preparing for the Fallen Giant on wave 16, which has 4000 HP. I get as many level 4 brawlers as possible, and a level 2 commander to buff them with call to arms. After killing the boss, I go back to farming, being able to max 4 more farms before having to defend again. Two level 2 mercenary bases are placed here in order to queue the units up, and when they are ready to spawn, I upgrade them to level 3, spawning riflemen. Meanwhile, I simply set up a cult to arms chain in the front, get a level 3 mercenary base to buff the brawlers, upgrade the brawlers all to level 4, and start getting rocketeers. I place rocketeers far enough away from the tracks so that the dead zone doesn't matter, but still close enough to be buffed my mercenary base and commander. I go straight for max rocketeer due to it having 400 damage and having a pretty large explosion radius. I put them all on strongest and get 3 of them, mostly for waves like 26 where brawlers are being nullified by the necrotic skeletons debuffs and the breakers tanking all of the hits. After that, I upgrade a back merc base to max, keeping it on riflemen until wave 30 where I drop 3 riot guards on the fallen shield before switching it back to riflemen right after. I'm also upgrading the other mercenary bases to try to stack riflemen, and on wave 33 I use a rifleman drop. After I max all 3 mercenary bases, I get all of my rocketeers then brawlers, maxing at least 1 commander for its superior fire rate buff. On wave 35, I spawn as many riot guards as I can to kill the fallen under guard as quickly as possible, so that I can also kill the wave 36 enemies without it tanking them. After wave 35, there's a small window between wave 36 and wave 38 where you can stack up your last rough men of the game due to them being a fair bit easier than wave 39 and 40. On wave 37, if you have max skill tree, you'll have almost $300,000 and the sell value of the mercenary base will be far higher just with this skill tree, allowing you to micro your mercenary base a lot more. This is the hardest part of the run, and I don't expect a casual TDS player to get anywhere near a kill like this due to how fast on your hands you must be. But to micro a merc base, you have to place it, max it, switch the units to whatever you want, use the airdrop, and then sell it immediately after. The units will not die if you do this correctly, and you must spam the airdrop as many times as possible to micro a merc base. On wave 37, I start markering merc, placing around 7 or 10 drops of riflemen at the back, just to strengthen my stack a bit. I then sell farms on wave 39 and start markering riot guards at the back to kill the wave 39 and fallen guard and the wave 40 enemies. I keep markering the merc due to how much money I'm getting, and around 20 seconds after wave 40 starts, these flying enemies spawn, and right after that, the fallen guardians and the fallen king. This is your cue to start dropping the airdrops closer to the entrance around here. Doing this consistently for like 2 minutes is definitely tiring and takes a lot of practice, but with the combination of your rocketeers, brawlers, riflemen, and riot guard airdrops, the fallen king and its peons should die pretty quickly. This run, I got 11 minutes and 13 seconds without using any consumables. This is 5,300 coins per hour, and with the timescale, it's 10,600 coins per hour. Faster is possible, but not in this current update where they made it so that when an enemy dies, its corpse keeps away from skipping. This is because the developers do not know how to code, so they just added a band-aid fix to a hacker bug that forced the wave to skip in hardcore. I believe that it'll be reverted or fixed in the near future, and speedruns like this will be possible again. 
If you don't have mercenary base or just can't stand having to micro it like that, you can try other troops like Ranger or Pursue, which would make it way slower but a little more consistent. Or something like replacing Commander with a DPS tower and placing your Brawlers in this first U-Bend, which would definitely make early game and mid game way easier, but would lose you possibly minutes of time. You could even fiddle around with replacing farm, which I've not tried so I don't know how bad the money is, but late game would definitely be easier with another DPS tower. If you don't have brawler, you'll definitely lose minutes of time, but late game and even mid game won't be much worse. All you have to do is bring a tower that can beat early game quickly. Hell, you can even use normal scout and just use rock tier for mid game. Rock tier is kinda just like a long range brawler at this point because of how cost efficient his crowd control is. Shotgunner or ace are probably your number two options if you don't have any great early game towers though. If you're using a loadout similar to this, replacing Brawler and Merc base with Shotgunner and Ranger, making it NST, you could probably get something near 14 minutes without skills. This will translate to somewhere around 16 minutes with a decomposing corpses bug, which would be 3,750 coins per hour, or 7,000 per hour with time scale. If the bug was patched, it would be 14 minutes and 4,200 coins per hour. Now, onto the big surprise, the easiest AFK coin farming strat that gives you over 3,000 coins per hour. If you do this strategy for just two full nights of sleep, you have yourself a free golden crate. You don't have to edit a micro or do any difficult inputs either. This is a very simple auto hotkey script that does five inputs in a loop. When you press F1, it starts an infinite loop that does these things. It presses one, selecting the brawler. It then clicks, placing the brawler. Now, to upgrade the brawler if it's already pressed, it presses Q to deselect the brawler. Then it clicks again and presses E to upgrade. It then loops back to the start, repeating this until you press F2, which exits the program. The sleep commands were simply to wait 500 milliseconds between each input to reduce lag. To use the script, you must download AutoHotKey, open AutoHotKey Dash on your PC, click New Script, Create, and navigate to your AutoHotKey folder. This is where all of your scripts are stored. Navigate to the file you just made, click Edit in Notepad, and copy paste the script, which is in the description of this video. To use the macro in game, go into solo fall and on simplicity. Then, you must position your mouse in the area where the brawler hits this U bend, and the cursor also clicks the skip and restart buttons. Once your mouse is in the correct position, press F1, and the macro will start placing and upgrading the brawler, and restarting the game or skipping automatically. To stop the macro, just press F2 and the script will end itself. Skills are not required at all for this, and you will get 342 coins in 5 minutes. Without the restart time, this is 4,000 coins per hour. With the restart time of 1 minute and 30 seconds, because the TDS developers do not know how in the world to code a bugless ready button, this is just over 3,000 coins per hour. The XP grind for this strategy is also pretty insane. This is 1,700 XP per hour with a VIP and the weekend boost. If you don't have Brawler, you're kind of out of luck. I tried Shotgun on Fallen and Crook Boss on Molten, but neither of them were great. Using Crook Boss on Molten could get you 2,300 coins per hour, which is better than nothing, but I'd just advise you to buy Brawler. It's 5 hardcore matches, man. Anyways, like and subscribe, tell me if these grinding strategies helped.